If you want to create a circuit on a piece of profboard, you will need a soldering iron in order to solder the components with one another. In case of through hole components, it's very easy to solder. But if you want to solder surface mount components, you can use a soldering oven, but it is rather complex and time consuming. So if you are a beginner and try to solder SMD components, you definitely would end up something like this. Therefore, to solder SMD components properly, you will need a hot air gun. But what would you do if you don't have one? So in this video, I'm going to tell you a very unique method to solder and desolder SMD components without screwing your head. So let's get started. Let's first understand the basics of how an ordinary hot air gun works. The main component of a hot air gun is just a filament, which converts electrical energy into heat energy just like a soldering iron. Then we use a fan to blow air between these filaments which make air hot. Then we directly apply this hot air on our component which we want to desolder. It is a very easy method to solder or desolder any SMD component. But as I mentioned you earlier that I will tell you an alternate. So the alternate of hot air gun is a halogen lamp. Yes, a halogen lamp, which is used in cars as a headlight. Besides creating an extremely bright light, it also creates intense heat. So how do we use it? The internal structure of a halogen lamp looks like this. It contains two filaments, one with reflector and one without reflector. We just have to power the filament with a reflector which helps us to direct the light at a single spot. To power the lamp, we just need a 12 volt battery or a laboratory power supply set at 12 volts. But make sure that your power supply can handle that much current. Now let's get to the practical work. In order to heat up the IC, we have to place the halogen lamp in such a way that its reflector faces towards the IC. Hold the lamp for around 6 to 7 seconds. The time actually depends on the size of component. Now by the help of tweezer, gently grab the IC and remove it. Remember, the halogen lamp would be very hot after turning off the power. So be careful. Well, I hope it helped those people who sometimes repair electronics and they don't want to buy expensive stations, then this method would be quite useful. Now let's try to desolder a rather massive IC with large number of pins. It is very difficult for an ordinary soldering iron to do this job. As always, don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Also, share this video with your friends and let me know what you think about this idea in the comment section below. And I will see you in my next video.